Hey, welcome to Big Country Tractors. Today, here's another good one. Have you ever had a tractor that you have the right amount of oil and you checked your carburetor and you know that the electric solenoid at the bottom of the carburetor clicks on and off with the key and it's not leaking oil into the crankcase, like mixing the gas and oil together and creating smoke? And you've covered all your bases and when you start the tractor, it just smokes like crazy. Well, in this video, we're going to do a diagnostics and find out why that's happening. And it's going to be a cheap fix, most likely. And it'll save you a lot of headache and um, get you back up and going without going out there and buying a new tractor. fresh oil on this exhaust. What's this smoking away? One idea could be just this gasket right here in the front. Or it could be the whole head gasket leaking. We could try to just change the front gasket and see if it alleviates our problem. We'll check that out first, and then we'll move to the more difficult task. Anyway, just stay tuned. We have a whole kit of gaskets so we can replace and do the easiest one first and move on. So after taking the hood off, I was able to get a better view. And right here, look at that. It's my finger, oil. And that's where our smoke was coming from, burning that all off. We got a kit here that I ordered on Amazon. And it has a little bit of everything, so we're gonna change the valve cover gasket, but we're gonna keep the other gaskets in case um, something else goes wrong. But for the most part here, there's everything you need. Exhaust gaskets, head gaskets. This one here is the one we need. So let's get into it. Let's take this off and then uh, go from there. So we was able to get this off with three eighths. We cleaned everything up. We have this all cleaned up. Before the this thing came off in pieces, it was just wore out. And it just, it's so brittle. Look at that, it just breaks apart. There's little pieces of it everywhere. You wanna make sure it's not in your valve cover when you put it back together. But right now we're just kinda putting this back together and making sure everything's clean. Three eighths, we got four bolts to put back. Not too bad of a job. We're gonna get this on here and torqued up properly and um, degrease this and then uh, give it a test. As you can see, the new gasket's in there, everything's torqued down. We're gonna use a little bit of this Zep here, degreaser. We don't get paid or anything to advertise anything that we are using here. So degreaser and just kind of get your hose and it doesn't really matter. I try not to drink these engines, but Sometimes it calls for it. It just helps out getting, getting the same degree. Usually starts up pretty good still. Just gotta get, get all this junk out of here. And just lots and lots of uh, oil from the past. 
it'll also burn off of there but i like to uh i like to degrease everything you know so we're not creating unwanted smoke for the neighbors and things but uh not a bad job you can get that kit on uh, amazon for around 12 dollars or less and it literally took 10 minutes to change now if it's a head gasket it'll take a lot longer because you got to remove this cover and then the head practically the head and i would take that valve cover off so you don't bend your um what are those things the push rods anyway they uh if you don't uh, have them straight they'll uh they'll bend on you but for the most part it's done we can uh go ahead and start it up and let's check it out If you like what you're watching and you want to see more please subscribe if you have any questions or comments please comment below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible thanks